Okay, so today I'm taking a look at Ubuntu Mate 17.04 and this is a beta 2. So the installation process is easy, quick, you know, as you'd expect from an Ubuntu installer, nothing special there. So the welcome screen, um, no, that's that. Uh, what do we come with? Plank. Oh, because you can um, you can change the user interface, can't you? I haven't really used Mate too much, but I like the I like the how it's going. Right, let's check out. Look and feel, that's what I want to see. Mate tweak. So, unlike most, this actually comes with the tweak tool pre installed um, panel. Yeah, so as I thought, you can change oh, Pantheon, What's the uh, elementary OS environment, Mutiny, which is the one a lot of people use, which is like a Unity look. Let's just go through them. Cupertino. Right, so that just oh no, there is a bottom bar. Uses plank. Will it change the? No, that's still working the same. Um, that's not too bad. Let's have a look at the Pantheon. What's the difference there? There we go. That's a nicer sort of. Prefer that launcher on the Pantheon one, um, GNOME 2. Okay, we all know what that's like. Mutiny, so this is where sort of mate meets Unity. I don't know if you've heard, but Unity's now, the Ubuntu Canonical is ditching Unity now in favour of GNOME again. <clears throat> I'm not too sure I like this mutiny layout. Um, netbook. Right, so that just removes no bottom bar. So you do everything from the top. More space on the screen. Redmond. And there you've got your sort of more traditional thing down at the bottom there. And back to Ubuntu Mate. Um, do you know what? I think we'll we'll keep on Pantheon for a little bit. Okay. What else can we do? Yeah. Right, let's take a look at some programs. And it doesn't come with GIMP, it comes with shots well. No. Is it? Hang on. Is it? This is more just a photo viewer, isn't it, shot well? I don't think it's a. Um, well, it's not, is it? Oh. Don't forget this is a beta, so we're going to run into little things like this. Okay. Let's open up the terminal. You won't worry about that just now. What have I got open that's locking that then? Hold on. Ah, it'll probably be that error report. Let's just... 
Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at the system monitor. I don't usually really like the I prefer using HTOP in the terminal, but right. Um so CPU utilization was low. Six hundred megabytes out of two gig. Um it's not bad. I don't think you've got an affordable bit. So I wonder if the user interface I'm using is going to affect what it should do in theory. Let's have a look. So if we just go to the default of mate. And it moved and then went back up. So 624. So yeah, it just has a little fluctuation when you change. What's the lightest one they've got here? It doesn't really affect it too much, to be honest. So let's keep it on pack, yeah. Alright, let's see what wallpapers we get. Oh. oh, not a bad selection actually. Okay, what's these ones with the car? Oh, I'm not sure about that. This um, what's this one? Mm, not sure about that one either. Let's just go for something simple. Screw it. Right, we'll use that for now. Alright, let's open up some programs. <clears throat> Pluma. I've never really liked the the icon colour of mate. Same with mint, it has that weird sort of. No, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that. Mm. Ooh, look at this. Green submarine. No, I'm not a fan of that either. Let's keep it on ambient. So how do you change the icons on this thing? Do you do it in tweak? taking its time hmm. well, we'll leave that for now because of GDEB so you can install your um, your deb file packages without having to go into the terminal So plank, which is this thing down here, you'll only see that when you switch from the mate user interface, synapse, under the mail, transmission. Yeah, it comes with everything you'd expect. Why can't we get tweak back up? No, we'll leave that. So if we have a look up here, here's your 
calendar, sound, networks, and Bluetooth. I don't know why. It's got Bluetooth. So I haven't actually got any Bluetooth on this computer. And then there. It's a nice clean look. It's very snappy as well. Moving around doesn't lag. Well, it won't do in its final release anyway. Starting to feel a bit of lag now. But okay, let's check on sys check on system monitor again. See what we see if we've gone past a gig yet. Don't tell me that won't open up now as well. Oh, we are going very slow, aren't we? Nothing wants to open. VLC's open, so that's, that's a bit better. Um, software, let's have a look at it. You're not coming to make software? You're not software center. seem to be one on there at the moment. Application switcher. Standard stuff. Right, I think I'm going to cut it there. It's still got... It's not running how I'd hope it was going to run. It's still a bit buggy here and there. And not everything's opening, but it looks nice. And I think as a finished product, it's gonna it's gonna fly. It's gonna feel very fast. And I like the Pantheon. I like the fact that you can switch to the Pantheon thing. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Let's shut this down.